Sometimes finding a doctor can be tough, especially when you need an appointment right away. Well, there's a startup website out there that may simplify that whole process for you. The aforementioned Robert Gray has a man behind ZocDoc. Robert? Hey, Chris, that's right. And if you're looking for a flu shot, uh, this gentleman here, Cyrus Masumi, can help you find that as well. In fact, he is the uh, CEO and the founder of ZocDoc, ZocDoc.com. Dot com. A mouthful there, Cyrus. Thanks for joining us here. Um, basically, you go onto your website. It's a reservation service for doctors, much like going on to book a restaurant uh, for reservations. Talk to us about it here with flu shot time of year. I was on the site earlier. You've got uh, sort of you know, locations and doctors there. How did this happen? And are doctors marketing this through your site? Sure. So uh, yeah, the company's four years old, of course, and uh, we, we see historically over the last four years, every time during flu season, more and more people are booking appointments. Last year, I think we saw 43% uh, increase in total overall appointments on the website. And already this year, we started to see an increase. In the last 30 days, 15% more people have booked an appointment on ZocDoc. And I think our flu shot appointments are up about 24%. Now, it sounds pretty simple, right? Like we talked about it like booking dinners, booking a doctor here. How profitable is it? Are you revenue positive anyway? And, and why can't others cross the moat and become competitors? Yeah, sure. So, you know, we spent our first two and a half years just in New York making the New York market profitable. And many of our early markets are profitable. Each market launch, we're now in 12 cities, has gone faster than the market before it. Uh, most recently, we launched Boston a few weeks back, and that was perhaps our most successful uh, launch to date. So we're really, uh, really pleased with the progress of the business. As far as uh, competitors are concerned, we like to joke that our competitor is the phone. There really is nothing out there, and it's quite difficult to do what we do because we have to work with all these different types of doctor systems to integrate to all their calendars. So the heavy lifting is the software that you guys are putting in. It's the software. It's having great customer service. It's being able to, to sign up the right doctors at the right times in the right order. So it's quite, quite a challenge. So five and a half million appointments, you say, overall. You're expanding to another city that's near and dear to your heart. Any, you want to uh, expand on that any further right well, now? Well, you know, we've launched in most large cities in America. Uh, there's one city that I've, uh, it's particularly uh, of significance. To me, but I, I can't. Uh, right. I can't reveal it uh, coming soon. for another week. Coming soon. The president's yeah. health care. It's in the spotlight today. Supreme Court says they're going to review the, the legality of it. Uh, how would that affect you if indeed it does go into place? Well, you know, one of the issues in health care, of course, is accessibility. And ZocDoc, our mission is to improve the accessibility of health care. And to some extent, health care reform is trying to do that in a different way. We do it through making more times available. They do it through, of course, giving people financial access to health care. Now, the issue with health care reform is you have 30 million new patients that are coming online as a result of health care reform should it get through the Supreme Court. And what will happen is that it will inevitably make it even more difficult for people to find a doctor. So uh, what that suggests is that a system like ZocDoc, a marketplace where you can go on with the click of a mouse and find out of thousands of doctors, the one doctor who can see you when you need it, you know, that's something that we think uh, is uh, a needed, regardless of health care reform, it's a needed service. It's one that we provide. Very quickly, you have a who's who of investors here. Can't let you go without talking about Jeff Bezos, Mark Benioff, and on and on here. Ninety-five million bucks. When's the IPO coming? These guys are probably looking for a payday at some point. Yeah, you know, uh, right now we're just focused on rolling ZocDoc out nationwide. We want everyone in America to be able to make doctor's appointments and get a doctor's appointment when they need it. And uh, until that's uh, done... Uh, you know, we're, we, we're not setting our sights on the financial markets yet. All right, Cyrus Masumi, he is the CEO and founder of ZocDoc. Chris, you can go on and get set up for your flu shot right away. I know. Thank you so much, Robert. It's a great story.